Jesus. I want to ask Eva to sing this song tonight, this morning. Would you please, if you could hold it, don't go out. We're going to pray. This means business transaction with Jesus, covenant God. And you can just shift your focus. Practice selective, positive memory. Don't think about the past, the pain, the people who hurt you. You could do that if you want to, but you're not going to be happy. I'm just telling you the truth. You're not going to be happy. You'll be miserable for the rest of your life. But we want to move on. You want to have joy. Do, do what Paul did. He did not remember the jail, the people who beat him up. He remember, since day one, you brothers and sisters were helping me out, praying for me, loving on me. You become partners to me. About midnight, they're singing praise and worship to God. In the midnight hour, where the voice of the enemy is so loud, you silence that with the voice of hope, with the voice of praise. Let's sing this song and focus on the one who gave it all. What a powerful name it is 
Church. What a powerful name. Sing that over our nation. They can stay. Sing it over our province today. Just the people without the instrument. What a powerful name it is. What a powerful name it is. Come on, yes. There's power in that name. What a powerful name it is, and nothing can stand again. Amen, Lord. What a powerful name it is. Sing that praise again. What a powerful name it is. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. Hallelujah. Nothing can stand against What a powerful name it is The name of Jesus What a powerful name it is The name of Jesus I want you to stretch forth your hands Toward the person next to you Even up there the balcony Let's cross the aisle We're one family of believer instead of breathe, building a wall we're gonna breathe a bridge to stand to stretch to invite people that's God asked us to do right those who are wise will lead many to righteousness and they will shine like stars in the midst of darkness you will be like a stars in the night not loud, not abrasive, not judging, just shining, leading, and inspiring. That's what our world needs today. I believe that's what you need today. That's what I need today. The light of Jesus to shine in my dark hearts today, in my wounded heart, in my stubborn heart. The way I treat people, let's be grateful for the good about them. There's always something good about people. Focus on that. Practice selective, positive memory. And be patient. Celebrate how far they have come, not how far they still have to go. And be prayerful and expect the best for them. And let's love people like Jesus does. We all know John 3.16. But our challenge for us is 1 John 3.16. This is how we know what real love is. Jesus gave his life for us so that we could give our life for others. Father, we pray for our nation today wounded, sick, divided. We know, Lord, it's not politics that will unite us. It's not a new president that will unite us. It's the love of God that covers a multitude of our sins. We pray for your healing, Lord, upon our nation. We love this nation even though I was not born and raised here. This is my adopted home. I love what this nation stands for, freedom to worship, freedom to express. We just honor you, Lord. We thank you for those veterans who serve and gave and sacrifice. And today, Lord, we are on a mission. This is not our civic duty. This is a covenant with Jesus. We're going to pray. We're going to be loving. We're going to be expecting the best. We're going to be grateful. We will move from a day of thanksgiving to a life of thanksgiving. First of all, thank you, Jesus, for loving us just as we are. 
And thank you for loving us for, that you don't want us to live just as we are. You want to make us become like Jesus. Heal the broken hearts today. Heal the offended, the oppressed, the wounded. Let them take off their eyes from their pain. That there's healing, there's power in your name. And we believe we will live to see the day that we will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That the best days and the blessed days are still ahead of us. In the name of Jesus and all of God's people say, Amen. Let's give the Lord a clap of praise today, church. Awesome. Praise God. You cannot be seated.